The word startup captures the essence of the creation of something new. And if you think about it, every city was once a startup. There was somebody or some set of people that showed up in a place and decided to start a city. What you're really trying to do is you're trying to create lots and lots of startups. And if your geography is bigger, you know, that's fine. But if you can get a smaller geography and get even more startups in that smaller geography, that's more powerful. These communities or neighborhoods are all linked together, sort of in a larger ecosystem. So this is the framework or the backdrop on which I've thought about what I'm calling the Boulder Thesis, which I talk about in this book, Startup Communities. The Boulder Thesis has four attributes. The first attribute, which is the most important, is that the startup communities have to be entrepreneur-led. Government, university, investors, etc. They each have their own roles, but the entrepreneurs have to be the leaders. Number two is that they have to take a 20-year view. If you view the growth and expansion of the entrepreneurial community like this, or like this, or like this, or more likely what happens, which is something like this, if you take too small a view and you say, okay, I'll commit for this period of time, well, you're probably not really gonna get very far. But if you commit for 20 years, you'll get pretty far. The third is that you have to be inclusive of anybody who wants to engage in the startup community. Anybody that shows up and says, hey, I wanna get involved somehow, you have to welcome them in. There's lots and lots of things that are part of this engagement of the entrepreneurial stack. For example, Startup Weekend, which is really aimed at aspiring entrepreneurs, right? These are people who want to understand what entrepreneurship is. It could be existing entrepreneurs who are looking for aspiring entrepreneurs to partner with or who are looking for people who are interested in entrepreneurship to join their company. It turns out Startup Weekend is a phenomenal place to go recruit talented people. Accelerators like Techstars are aimed at the first time and second time entrepreneur. It's a 90-day program and engages all of these people in actually building something. Open coffee club meetings typically, which might happen every two weeks, are informal ways to get all of these people together on a continual basis. Each one of these events or activities by themselves may not be that profound in terms of what happens in the startup community, but when you do them all together in a tight geography on a continual long-term basis, magic comes out of it because people are actually working on stuff together, talking about stuff together with a periodicity that's consistent, and new things that serve the needs of that startup community continue to emerge. If I'm an entrepreneur in the middle of America someplace, then what do I do? Just get started. Nobody's going to elect you boss. The very first thing you should do is go look for other entrepreneurs like you who want to go do something and just get started. It starts with two or three or four. Just get it out there and recognize that a lot of the things you're going to do early are not going to work or they're going to be sloppy or they're not going to be perfect or they're going to be illegible after five minutes of scribbling on them. That's okay. Try it, erase it, keep going.